Brian here with uh, dogmentalist.com and today I want to give you a few tips to get inside your dog's mind with the whistle. A uh, very useful tool, uh, especially when it's a windy day, it can really cut through the wind rather than using your voice because sometimes the dog just can't hear you. So uh, the first thing you want to do is charge up the whistle with your dog so that the dog starts to associate the whistle with something really good, really tasty, something beyond their kibble. And uh, you want to start using the whistle when the dog is distracted. And my hair is uh, distracted. Uh, she's in the hunting mood right now, looking for something to do. So uh, she is trained, so we're going to test the whistle on her today. One of the things that you want to do too, when you blow the whistle and your dog comes to you, reward them every time with something really good, then let them go back out and play so that the whistle doesn't mean that their playtime is over. It means that just come, get a treat, go back and play. And if you do this over and over again, when you do need to go, blow the whistle, give them a treat, then you can go. Thanks for watching.